Guys, in the previous video, we have pasted the LinkedIn's inside tag in our website so that we can track conversions, we can track sales, lead form submissions and all from our website. Now, in this particular video, we are going to set up conversion tracking so that we can track all those things which I was I'm talking about, right? So if you have just pasted the inside tag into your website, then this tracking thing is not going to work. You need to set up conversions for order, set up conversions for a lead form submission and any kind of other activity. So let's directly jump into our LinkedIn platform and set up the track, uh, tracking conversion. So guys, as you can see, this is our website and this is the back end of, of our website, uh, which is based on WordPress, right? Now let's go to the LinkedIn platform. This is the LinkedIn platform and I have to go to LinkedIn advertise. Right, so I'm into the campaign manager. Once you are into the campaign manager, you need to open the ad account from which you want to do the tracking, right? So I'm going to use the active one. Now in the left hand side menu, you will be able to see the analyze option, which is the drop down menu. You have to click on it once. And here you will be able to see the inside tag, which we have already created and pasted into the head section of our website. Now we need to go to the third option, which is conversion tracking. Click on this and you need to click on create conversion. Now it is asking that which type of conversion you want website tag conversion or you want to import conversions. So obviously we want to create it and this should be website tag conversion. So click on this. Now you need to enter the name of your tag. So here you need to understand that what are the thing we are going to track so that we can determine that that is the sale or that is the lead form submission. So whenever a person or a customer, the visitor adds any product, let's say this is this assorted coffee, right? So whenever the uh, user add this to their basket or to their card and then they place the order they will be redirect to the thank you page right you might know that whenever you are on an e-commerce website and you place an order once you place the order the payment is completed you will be able to basically you will be redirect to the thank you page so that thank you page is for the tracking purposes so whenever the thank you page appears in the website that means there is one conversion same goes with the leads let's say you are running a service based websites and you need leads so whenever your visitor opens your lead form and they submit their information and hit the submit button there will be a thank you page or thank you window appear in your website so we are going to track those thank you pages so that we can determine that 10 times those thank you pages has appeared in our website. That means our visitors have purchased 10 times from our website or maybe they have submitted leads 10 times in our website, right? So this is how we track conversions, right? Now let's again go back to our website. Uh, tag conversion creator so here we need to enter the name of this conversion tracking basically conversion tag so again let's use this thank you page right and here you need to define the key conversion behavior you want to track so what will be the so this time we are going with the purchase one and you can follow the same process for the leads for so these are the actions basically the conversions for leads like apply job book appointment complete sign up download install lead and all so these are for leads and these are for sales and some others are here as well so in sales section i'm going to with the purchase option so this is basically i'm creating a purchase tracking or you can say purchase conversion tracking now set the value of the conversion so here you can set a specific value of a single conversion so in my website if i show you let me go to the site once 
So if I show you here, you will be able to see that every product has different value. This one has $35, this one has $15, $19, $25. So what I'm gonna do is to make the things pretty simple, I'm going to add it only $1 over here so that I can just find out that how much conversions I have got. And then I can check the total amount in my website's backend because I do have the access to my web backend as, as well, right? To my e-commerce website backend. So there I can check that how much total revenue I got and here I can check total number of conversions, right? So that's why I have added only one. So if I got one purchase, the value I'll be able to see $1. If I got two purchase, the value I'll be able to see $2, right? This is how I have done here. Now here you can set the time frame. So I'm not going to do anything here. You can leave it as it is. This is basically the time frame when you want to conversion to be counted. Uh, in clicks should be in last 30 days, 90 days, 7 days or 1 days, whatever. Right. And views should be 90 days, 30 days, 7 days. So uh, I think 30 days and 7 days is good option. Now the last option we have last touch. So let's say you are running multiple campaigns. So whom or which to which campaign you want to give the credit for the conversion to each campaign or to the last campaign by which the customer got converted. So it is totally up to you. I'm going with the each campaign option, right? Because credit should be goes to every campaign because the user have at least watched the ad, right? Now, after filling all these informations, hit the next button. And here you need to select the campaign for which you are setting up the tracking. Basically, it is asking that select the campaign you want to track, you want to track with the conversion. So right now we don't have any campaign. We are just creating that conversion right now. So if you have already created the campaign, so you can search here and you can select that as well, right? Basically, you can select the campaign status from here as well. So you'll be able to search the campaign. So right now we are going to uh, directly going to the next step without selecting any campaign because we are creating conversion right now. Now here you have two options. Either you can go with Google's tag manager. Otherwise, you can use the manual option. So in uh, uh, instead of tag manager, we do have other tag managers option as well, like floodlight tag manager, Adobe tag manager, then Telium tag manager. So at least five options you have in if you want to use any tag manager, right? But we are going with the manual method because manual is pretty simple if you don't want to use any other third party tool, right? So when you click on uh, manual setup conversion, you'll be able to see inside tag code. So click on this. And once you click on this, you'll be able to see this code over here. So copy the code. Once you copy the code, you'll be able to see the next step where it is asking you to paste the code global footer because footer is the constant thing on every page of your website. Because some in some websites, the header sometimes changes or header sometimes disappears but the footer is the constant thing that's why it is asking you to paste the code into the footer section but if you want if you know that your website uh, have the static headers then you can paste this code into the head section of your website as well right so let's we have copied the code and now let's go to the dashboard of our website and you have two methods to paste the code. Either you can go directly to the appearance and the theme file editor, which I have shown you in the last video. If you don't know, you can check out the uh, previous video in our playlist, right? LinkedIn marketing course playlist. So here you do have the footer and the header option. So you can paste it here. Otherwise you have the plugin option as well, by which uh, the process will be a bit simple, right? So if you want to manually paste the code right now, we are in the head section. So if you want to paste the code into the head section, so let me show you the open head and closing. So this is the opening of the head and this is the closing of the head, right? So you need to paste the code between these two things, opening and closing, right? So you need to paste the code between these two things. And this is the footer option. You can paste the code into the footer as well, global footer. 
right as described in here now you can use the plugin as well as i have installed the plugin let me show you one this is the code snippet plugin right so in code snippet plugin what you can do is you can directly go to the plugin uh, and if you don't know how to install the plugin go to the plugins option in your wordpress click on add new and here you can search code snippet and you will be able to see the plugin you just need to hit the install button and the activate button and the plugin will be activated into your wordpress site as like this we have right code snippets then in code snippets you just need to hover your cursor over here and you will be able to see these options so just click on header and footer so as it is asking us to paste the code into the footer so let's paste it into the footer part so let's paste it and hit the save changes button right so we have pasted now now let's go back here and here you need to define your conversion tracking method so now we need to define the conversion how you want to track the conversions so we are creating this for sales conversion right so in the sales conversion the thank you page should be loaded once the thank you page appears in the screen it means there is one conversion or we can say that someone has purchased a product from our website so there is two options you can go either with page load option which is which i'm talking about otherwise you have this event specific option which can be uh, done by your developer you need to use this code into the button purchase button and you will be able to track with this event specific option but this time we are going with the page load option which is pretty easier and can be done by anyone right and this is a bit hard and mostly developers use this method right so we are going with the page load method here we don't want to go with starts with we are going with the is equals to because is equals means the value which we are going to provide here is equals that means that is the conversion page uh, not conversion page that is the thank you page and there is a one conversion right now let me go back once again to our website let me click on new tab now what i am going to do is i am going to place one order by myself so that i can see that thank you page and then i'll uh, copy the link of that thank you page and paste it there right so add basket then view basket click on view basket button okay proceed to checkout not now and you need to enter all the details test test okay every detail has been autumn already filled over here right so these are the totally demo details now the payment method is cash on delivery so let's place the order now as you can see the order has been placed and this is the thank you page right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this pages link so that whenever this kind of page appears linkedin will think that there is one conversion or someone has purchased a product from our website now what you have to do you just need to copy this much of your link because this is from here after the forward slash this is the data of this particular purchase right as you can see order number 5524 and then the uh, key is equals to wc order and the extra data right so i just have to copy this much keyword oh not keyword url if i copy this and paste it to google you will be able to see only thank you page you will be not able to see the data extra data of the purchase right as you can see so this is the sim simple thank you page without any data thank you your order has been received like this so let's copy this url and paste it here and click on create and once you click on create it is showing unverified but after some time you will be able to see the data and you will be able to see that it is tracking your website as well right so this is how you can create conversion tracking into your website i hope you understood the process i hope you learned from this process if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button and i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye